Well, we are here with RuPaul on the set of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I just have to start by congratulating you. You personally have won three Emmys for reality host. You're one away from the record. Do you know who has the record? Shirley Temple, <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, Mamie Eisenhower. Very close, it's Jeff Probst. So if you win this year, you will tie his record. Really, wow, that would be interesting. But you know, um, you know, I didn't choose the game, boo. The game chose me, and um, I'm just I'm just happy to have a job, honestly, really. And the show itself won Best Competition Program for the first time. That's right. What was that moment like? I just rewatched the clip. There was a standing ovation in the room. Really? Yes, there was. What was that feeling like when they open the envelope and they say RuPaul's Drag Race? Well, the feeling, it's, it's, it's an out-of-body experience because you're not sure if it's really happening. I wasn't. And, you know, uh, I've seen pictures of us all on stage. I don't really remember it. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's, it, it's very exciting. It's very exciting to have worked on this show for so many years and have a lot of the crew members have been here for years and years and years. So for their uh, peers to recognize uh, our show is 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 lovely. And uh, but you know we do it because we love it. We do this show because uh, it's exciting, and uh, we love creating a platform for all of these incredible queens to uh, get introduced to the world and start their international careers. And. You guys just got picked up for season 12. Did so we? So, congratulations. Oh my goodness, small victories. <laughs> We're uh, shooting 12 right now. So, thank God we got picked up. <laughs> Is there anything you can tease at all? Probably not, but I have to ask. Well, you know, every year, uh, our, our, the girls make it special. You know, we create the show. It's a well-oiled machine. We create the challenges and we do all the stuff. And it's all very clever and it's all very funny and fun. But it's not until we add the drag queens that it becomes its own unique animal. And it makes it uh, special every single year. And I love it. Well, speaking of last season, which is the one you're eligible for now at the Emmys, I believe the main show has nine nominations, but overall with you know Untucked and your short form shows and All Stars, I think it's more like 15 total for the franchise? Let's go with 17. <laughs> Let's just go with 32 like Game yeah. of Thrones. Oh right? wow, 32. Thank you Academy. I want to thank you for all the going. But what, 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 what's it like to finally be embraced by the Academy? Because the first few years you guys were overlooked, you were snubbed, um, but I sh I'm sure you told yourself, you know, someday they'll get it. You know, I gotta be honest, you know, I come from the East Village clubs and all of that stuff and I have, uh, always created my own path as as my collaborators we all come from the east village club scene from the 80s so the recognition from the mainstream culture was never really part of my plan it was mm -hmm. it's great but it was never something that was make or break so we knew our show was fabulous all those years that we were not nominated right. um which is fine uh the the real uh, the real prize has always been being able to do it and to do it for so many years. Mm -hmm. That's the real prize. And that's true not just in te television shows, uh, but it's true in life. Uh, you know, the fact that you get to wake up and do what you like to do or have freedom, clean air, drinking water, running water inside the building, <laughs> those are all pluses. The winner last year was Evie Oddly, who was my favorite, so I'm glad we kind of lined up there. How tough was that decision between Evie and Brooklyn Heights? It's always a tough decision, but in reality, the truth is all the girls win, even if you're the first to get eliminated, like uh, Vanjie so many years ago. Vanjie, one episode, turned into an international star overnight. So the truth is they all win. I know that sounds like a cop-out, but the truth is, you know, you know you're... Uh, if you're on television, you're a winner. Mm -hmm. It's true. Now the money, you know, the prize, great. Um, there are, uh, you know, certain winners who you never hear from again. Mm -hmm. And then there are people uh, who, uh, you know, uh, don't win, who become even bigger stars. Right. Let's talk about Nina West. Let's talk about it. Miss Congeniality. What do you want to say? What have you heard? She was, she's such a 
memorable contestant, and I'm so glad that she won Miss Congeniality. I was rooting for her, and I actually met her in person. She's the nicest person What's in the world. What's she like in bed? <laughs> hey, that's TMI. You are beat red. Can you guys see this? <laughs> oh my god, oh, oh. <laughs> But let's talk about the moment she won. She, Miss Congeniality, she said one word. She goes, meh, yeah. and made it all worth it. Yes. She's funny. You know, she uh, had auditioned more than any other contestant wow. in the history. What took you so long? Well, you know, I, the, the years I, I felt, um, you know, a lot of times we will we'll have kids audition. And they will audition for the same role. Now, this is some behind the scenes speak, so go with me on this. Certain, you know, we have comedy queens, we have um, uh, body queens, there are singers. There, sometimes someone will audition for that same role. And what we're doing in the casting, it's an ensemble. So sometimes uh, two girls will go for the same gig. Mm -hmm. Are you with me on this? And one will cancel out the other. And that's what happened, is that uh, we had girls Playing that role. This is behind the scenes speak, so you have to go with me, uh, John Q. Public here. Uh, <laughs> it's an ensemble case, so we can't have a lot of times we don't have two of the same right. character. So she got canceled out several times. Well, how involved are you personally in the casting process? Every step of the way. Yeah. You ain't gonna step on this stage if I if I haven't approved. And that's not ego. That's just the show is called what? RuPaul. RuPaul Drag Race. <laughs> um, let's talk about some of your guest judges. Let's do. You what had, have you heard? You had Miley Cyrus. Uh -huh. And whose idea was it to have her go in the workroom wearing the undercover boss makeup? That was her idea. That I was mean, so she, fun. She spent uh, many years undercover as uh, Hannah Montana. So it's kind of in her wheelhouse. So um, that was her idea. And you've had Lady Gaga on the show. Have we? You have. Really? Yeah. One of my favorites. Was I there? I think so. Huh. One of my favorites was Joel McHale because he had this animosity or something going on with Michelle Visage. What uh -huh. was going on there? Well, um, uh, Joel, who's a friend of our show and who's absolutely lovely, I've known him for many years, you know, um, I think he felt a little nervous. Oh. Uh, I think he felt a little bit nervous. So he kind of overcompensated by being a little obnoxious. So Michelle was what? Not having it. What was she not having? It. <laughs> so uh, so that's what that was. Well, I hope he comes back because I love their little rapport. Though. Well, if he comes back, he'll have to not wear pants <laughs> or underwear. Is Do you have a dream guest host that you really want to see on the show and maybe you've been fighting for them, but they've been saying no? Well, uh, Mamie Eisenhower has not answered our calls. <laughs> I don't know what I ever did to her, but uh, I'd love to have her on the show. Mamie, if you're watching this, please. I don't think she's watching. Um, you know, Michelle Obama would be good. I'm oh my gonna, God, I'm yeah. gonna throw some of my picks. I got to meet her earlier this year when we were filming Drag Race UK. Mm. I went to her Becoming book tour and uh, uh, then had uh, snacks uh, afterward at her after party. Couldn't be more engaging, smart, mm. and absolutely lovely and elegant. Could not have been more of those things. Well, that's what we want from a future president, right? Absolutely, absolutely. That would be great. Oh my <laughs> God, oh, if she could run for president. Oh, dear, dear God and Jesus and everybody up there, please, can you please? make Michelle Obama run for president. Please, pretty please. I think we just created a meme right there. Really? I think so. Oh, yes. wow. Um, we have to talk about Silky Nutmeg Ganache. In episode one, Silky said that he's going to have a spinoff one day. Uh -huh. Would you watch that spinoff? Absolutely. I would watch Silky Nutmeg Ganache. I'm sorry. I would watch the Dr. Reverend Silky Nutmeg Ganache mm -hmm. do anything. I think she is fantastic, and I would love to see her just, I'd love to see her reading the news. I'd love <laughs> to see her in a children's show. I'd love to see her in a cop drama. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can reboot uh, Policewoman. 
Oh yeah. Uh, for Silky not make. I'd love to see her do anything. I think she's fantastic. Um, you talked a little bit about Miss Vanjie coming back. Do you? Is there anyone else from the past that made a really big impact, but they didn't make it very far, and that you would like to see? You know, have another shot. Well, we do have a t television program called All Stars, and they do come back. Uh, I think all the girls are, are really fabulous. You know, the fact that um, they get on the show, it means I am a fan of theirs. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I love drag queens, always have. Uh, uh, it's, um, it's something that I need to talk about with my therapist. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing you have a show about them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Rue, some of your competition this year at the Emmys for reality host is you have Amy Poehler and Nick Offerman for a show on NBC. Mm. What's it like going up against those two? Because they're, they're pretty uh, famous, pretty well-known people. You know, I don't feel like we, it's like really going up against it. You know, the most fun part of the Emmy uh, experience is honestly this all for real is the nomination process because you're part of this group, this sort of, um, this club. It's sort of like a girl gang. And it feels you're just a part of this thing. And I know it sounds like a pageant answer, but I love being a part of this thing. And everybody's in it, all, all the people nominated. Once you win, go with me on this, you're, you're just, you're just, you're alone. It's just, you and mm -hmm. and weirdly it doesn't feel I don't know it feels more special when you're part of this group because you know the parties haven't happened yet but mm -hmm. I'm gonna go all the parties I'm gonna see everybody I'll say what's up we go dance we're gonna have a little chicken we're gonna do all that stuff I'm gonna wear lots of outfits I may wear several outfits per night Wow uh, you know um, that's the fun part but once you win it's just you and your award and and the people that you you know who are part of the show that's right. all fun it's strange go with me on this don't judge me too harshly where do you put them do you have a, a shelf wouldn't you like to know because <laughs> you're you're getting quite a, a lot now you're accumulating them well um i you know i have four now because as a producer of the show when the show won mm -hmm. i got one there too right so i have one two three and Four. That's as high as I can count. So if I win again, I won't be able to go beyond this. <laughs> well, best of luck this year. Do you have a, do you have a speech planned in case it happens again? I don't. I don't. Are you just gonna wing it? Um, yeah. You know. You know. I've I've um, collected uh, sayings all my life. Things like if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Right. Which I think I said the I last time. I think you time. did. Yeah. yeah. And things like everybody say love. I, did, I think I did that mm -hmm. one too. Um, uh, so I may, uh, you know, I may have to pull out one of my, my oldies but goodies. I may have to pull out, um, scam money don't make money, but freak money do. <laughs> well, best of luck. And everyone watching, go to goldderby.com and make your predictions. If you think Rue's going to win host or Drag Race is going to win competition show, tell us what you think. Go make your predictions right now. Or if you think I'm going to go blonde. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.